The horrifying killing of Katarzyna Zawada transpired in late 1998 in Krakow, Poland. At the time of her death, the victim was a 23-year-old female. What the killer did to her body was extremely disturbing. The Disappearance and Finding of Remains 1998. Katarzyna had a scheduled meeting with her mother at the psychiatric clinic in Nowa Huta, where she sought treatment for her depression. However, she never arrived at the appointment. Subsequently, on the same day, Katarzyna's mother attempted to report her missing at the local police station, but was instructed to wait. The trajectory of this unsettling narrative took a darker turn on the 6th of January 1999. While navigating the Vistula, the crew of the Elk Pusher Tug discovered a crucial piece of evidence on board, human skin. Following examination, DNA tests conclusively linked the skin to Katarzyna. By the 14th of January, her right leg was also recovered from the river. Initially, the assumption was that the body had suffered damage from the boat's propeller. However, upon closer inspection of the body fragments, it became apparent that the skin had been intentionally removed from the torso and the limbs and head were severed. Strikingly, the skin seemed to have been meticulously prepared, possibly to form a bodysuit worn by the assailant. The Investigation in May 1999, the Forensic Medicine Unit in Krakow received the remains of a man with a severed and scalped head. Shockingly, the perpetrator was identified as Vladimir W., the son of the victim. Prior to his arrest, Vladimir was witnessed wearing a mask made from the skin of his own father's head. Initially suspected in Katarzyna's murder, investigators found no supporting evidence. Instead, Vladimir was charged with his father's murder and sentenced to 25 years in prison. In 2012, Leveraging advancements in forensic research and collaborating with experts, the prosecutor's office revived the investigation. The X-Files cold case unit joined forces with a team of police officers. Specialists from the 3D Expertise Laboratory of the Roklaw Medical University meticulously crafted a model detailing the injuries inflicted on the victim. Their findings revealed that the assailant used a sharp tool to inflict wounds on Katarzyna's neck, armpit, and groin, causing severe pain and ultimately leading to her bleeding to death. The Suspect On October 4, 2017, a significant development unfolded in the Katarzyna Zawada case with the arrest of 52-year-old Robert Janczewski in Krakow's Kazimierz district. Authorities executed a search of his residence, revealing the presence of blood in the bathroom. Consequently, both the bath and frame were secured for further testing. Intriguingly, Janczewski had been a person of interest in 1999 but had not faced arrest until this pivotal moment. Janczewski aligned with a psychological profile and a history of visiting the victim's grave. His troubling track record included a pattern of harassing women. Notably, he had previous employment in a dissecting lab, dealing with human corpses. Additionally, he worked at the Krakow Institute of Zoology, where he observed the process of preparing animal skins. His termination from this position occurred abruptly after he killed all the Institute's rabbits during a shift with Janczewski unable to provide a satisfactory explanation for his actions. The police took Janczewski into custody following a letter from a friend of the suspect. The contents of the letter remain a closely guarded secret within the investigation. Formally charged with aggravated murder with particular cruelty, Janczewski vehemently maintains that he had no acquaintance with Katarzyna Zawada. The Court of Appeal granted an extension of his detention until September 6, 2018, as investigators diligently gathered evidence. In an effort to crack the case, investigators sought assistance from experts in various countries, including the FBI. Remarkably, it took 19 years for law enforcement to make the initial arrest in 2017, spurred by the discovery of fresh evidence. Presently, as of September 2019, the suspect remains in custody, with investigators diligently collecting additional evidence in their pursuit of justice.